Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of the Mark II Golf Stories. Again with a GTI today. And today we're going to remove the bonnet. Yeah, why you might ask? Well, I'll tell you in a second. So good news people, um, I found a body shop, a painter, who's got an oven, which is a big bonus. So we're going to take the, wing, the new wings I've got down to him. But we're also going to take the bonnet off and give it a paint because you can see the bonnet is completely knackered. Maybe you can't see, I can't really tell this light. It's got loads of lacquer peel on it. It's got a great big scratch here up it and it's full of stone chips. So as well as having new wings on it, they look painted, and a new Scotland roof. I'm going to take the bonnet off and get that painted. But I'm not going to do that here, because it's going to be without the bonnet for a few days. Uh, it'd be probably best to leave it at my dad's, so I'm going to drive it down to my dad's, take the bonnet off there, and then tomorrow we're going to take all the parts down to the body shop. And you're going to come with us. Okay, so let's go and do it. Tiger. Interesting fact, the uh, window washer doesn't seem to work uh, the correct way so I've had to reverse the cables so I have to push the stick forward to get the water out and then pull it back for the wipers to work. Don't know why. further than that. <sighs> Suburbia. This thing needs to be out on the windy back roads really rather than stuck on these little little roads full of posh houses. But here I am to terrorise and make some noise, terrorise Suburbia like a true fucking punk. This is a car for punks. <laughs> That's what I tell myself anyway. But it drives really smoothly. I'm really happy with how it's driving at the moment. Feels nice. The only problem, the only thing I've got with it, which is annoying me, is a, a rattle from the back left. I don't know what it is. It's been driving me mad for ages. I guess I'll have to have a look at that at some point. It's 
So my plan is hopefully get this all painted up, get everything painted uh, before Didsbury Car Show, which is, uh, I think it's in like end of July. We're in July, so about, um, you know, over a month and a half away. So I've got a bit of a tight deadline, really. Let's hope this painting chap's on the ball. To be honest, he's been really hard to get hold of, but you know, he has been sick. So yeah, if we can get the uh, bonnet off and, down to, and the wings down to him tomorrow, get them back on the car within a week or two, maybe. Hopefully, it should be looking pretty tidy then, getting new indicators on it, getting the red stri stripe back on it. Should be looking okay. Fucking hell. Fucking Volkswagen drivers, eh? So in a bit of a detour to see my mate James drop off his housewarming party for him and his wife Nicola. I'm sure they're gonna like it. Hello Mr. Porsche. This is what I've got on. God, roads around here are bumpy. Shitting wizards. Here we are. There he is, there's the old man himself, the maestro. <laughs> you right? Is that gonna fit in your car? When this bonnet was refitted by a professional body shop, look at the gap difference. Like, I don't know, half a finger's width there. Finger's width there. Anyway, let's get this, start getting this removed. I'll crack the bonnet open. Oh, it's just, it's undo these, undo these. Unclip things like this for the washers. And remove basically, yeah, just remove all these. So these just clip off. Easy. This just pulls off as well. Ow! That's a wall. And that's all disconnected. So yeah, there you go, that's the bonnet off. Sorry you didn't actually see us take it off. Um, I forgot to zoom out with everyone talking, a bit distracted. But yeah, it's four bolts, dead easy. And it's lifts off. Uh, so tomorrow, tomorrow we're off to the body shop, take the bits down, and uh, hopefully we will get them back soon. Here we go, here's one of the wings. And heritage parts, and I'll be glad to get this massive box out of my hallway. There we go, there it is. Let's go. Just dropped the parts off at the auto, we'll collect them in a few days. Looking forward to it, woohoo! So we're going to go and collect the wings and the bonnet from the auto now. Uh, hopefully they'll be looking good, we'll see. So we need to remove this bracket for the bumper off these wings, so we're going to show you how to do that. Add. <laughs> this is how we get them out. There you go, plugs are out, a couple of taps, and there we go. And that went on the bigger side, this goes on the bigger side at the bottom of the wing when it goes on, like that. So these, they, they just push in, a bit of force on them, and they clip in, and just knock those plugs back in. Before we put this on the car, we're just going to mask this up, and we're going to give all of this inside uh, a coating with some stone chip under seal, uh, just to protect it a bit. So there we go, it's all masked up. We've done, make sure we're on the outside of these holes so the paint doesn't come through and drip down the other side. Right, let's give it a spray with some stone chip under seal.
bits of the stuff we're going to use should hopefully be enough in here to do the two wings. I'm not sure though, we'll see. There we go. There's the wings. Where's one of the wings? Thank you. So we'll get that back on. So we just unpack this and leaving it in the house for a little bit just while we put the wings on. But looks amazing. Like glass. Good job. That's just a bit of a bit of dust. Here we go boys and girls. She's back from the body shop. Let's take a little look. It's raining. What to give her a bit of a wash really, but yeah, kind of rain. So there we go, new wings. Bonnet's freshly painted. Gone's that big sort of blow over area and all the scratches. Not sure if you can tell, unfortunately, it's not a great match to the doors, although weirdly, the paint matches the roof and the top of the doors, it's probably about a quarter of the way down, but they seem to get darker for some reason. They really know why. But yep, obviously I've got to put the um, wheel arch trims back on. Let's drill some holes down here for it to clip on. Does anybody know, is this red stripe? Was that a standard thing or somebody put that on? I always thought it was standard, but I'm not too sure. But yeah, I think it looks pretty good. It's, it's good to have it back. But it's not fully closed because the uh, battery's on charge. Yeah. There we go. Scuttle panels, lovely. Doesn't let water in. Just need to sort the sunroof seal out next. Still fucked. But yeah, all in all, pretty happy. So there we go. Thanks for watching this episode again. It's been quite a long one. Um, not sure if it's made any sense. But if you've enjoyed it, you know, and you're a fan of this beautiful car, please consider dropping a like or clicking on subscribe. Um, should I do one? I'll probably do a video where we drill the wings for the wheel arch trims and uh, sort out the plastic. They've got a bit of rust down there to sort out as well, they're the wheel arch trim. But yeah, okay, so we'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot guys.